Hey guys, John back here with another video for you. Um, today's video is actually a drumming related video. Usually I'm a guitar player here on YouTube, but I also love playing drums. Now, this has been a huge debate I've seen online. You know, what do I go with? Do I go with the DW5000 or the Tama Iron Cobra 900? Both of the are roughly in the same price point. So, you know. You're not really getting too much difference as far as price, but you know, maybe you're a beginner drummer, maybe you're a drummer who's been playing for a while now, and you're like, oh man, I re really like to, you know, upgrade my foot pedals. Well, why do some people love the Iron Cobra, and why people some like love the DW5000? And then I will tell you what I ultimately went with. Now, I noticed you could probably see over here there's a DW7000, but I have this for a reason out right now because okay now just a little bit of context this has the power glide they call it and this has the accelerator um they're basically the cams so they're very similar cams um they're both double chain drive so there's a lot of similarities i'm not here to tell you what the similarities are because there's so many things that are similar they're both based on the same designs i'm here to tell you what the key differences are and why you would want to choose maybe the DW5000 or the Iron Cobra over the other. Now, the first thing I'm going to get into, which I'm going to get into a couple just minor things that, you know, are just personal preferences. And then I'm going to get into nitty gritty details of stuff that may make or break your decision. Okay, they're both awesome pedals. There's nothing wrong with each pedal. Now, what something that i noticed with the iron cobra is if i can focus come on there it goes they have this weird swiveling technology so as you're hitting the beater see how it actually swivels okay you're pushing down this actually swivels so this metal piece stays put and then there's, it's a lot looser right here, so it swivels back and forth. The Devo 5000 has something similar, but the 5000, this whole entire system, there you go, this whole entire system's actually on a ball bearing. So as you're moving it, the whole thing moves. See? So this whole entire whole entire mechanism actually moves so there's a ball bearing inside of this basically this arm post there's a ball bearing right there so the whole thing actually moves that's you know that may not seem like a big deal to some of you but when you come to say something like the dw7000 this doesn't move at all in any way and i actually had a spring break right here because this doesn't move at all. So as you're moving, see, it's literally just, that's what it's doing. So that's something that I like about both pedals, but they are a little bit different in how they uh, get to this feature. So <clears throat> another difference that I noticed is the key. I know this is silly, but DW5000, just a basic drum key and they, uh, they clip it in right underneath okay now with the tom iron cobra one thing i like is that it's out of the way the key is a really nice robust key comes with the key obviously and the allen wrenches so if you're say going to adjust something your allen wrench is right there the DW does give you Allen wrenches, but not all in a nice, fancy key. Now, another big key difference between the two, something that I don't know if will make or break it for you. The Iron Cobra with the chain system, there is no uh, like sprocket, basically. For example... I, this is why I purposely have the, also the DW7000 over here. 
See this system? This is like a sprocket. So when you have the chain, see? So the chain actually moves with the, almost like with the sprocket. So the DW has this, also this chain like system with the, like almost like a bike sprocket where the Iron Cobra doesn't. Now, is one better than the other? I don't know. One advantage I see with this is that if you want to convert this to maybe a strap drive, it's probably going to be a lot easier. Or maybe even if you want to convert this to a direct drive, not sure about that, but it would seem to be a lot easier to convert stuff. So that's, that's a cool thing. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't mean to sniffle. I just, uh, it's a tick. Um, that's a long story and I won't get into it. One thing that I did have, I did seem to like a lot is this tri pivoting toe clamp on the DW. I will say I did like that over this system that Tama has. Now it's not a bad system that Tama has, but I play an electronic drum kit, which is right there. And I also have a normal drum set. Now, going from the electronic drum kit to a normal drum set, this has been an easy breeze. I don't have to adjust anything. I literally just pop it on the drum set, pop it on the electronic kit, go, go, go. Great. This, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because there's no, really not a lot. Of, this is really flat down here, but this actually created more of an issue going from the electronic kit to the regular drum set. So that's one of those things that didn't make a huge difference is that I noticed this with this. And so now the last difference, the biggest difference that I was noticing is I was noticing that I felt like this pedal almost played a little bit nicer. Now I have a size 13 foot. Now, what I mean by it played a little bit nicer is that it felt a little more comfortable. And with this pedal, it still played amazing, but I wasn't as comfortable. And I was kind of like, why is that? Well, one thing is, and I actually have my trusty tape measure here, is the area in here is actually wider than the area in here. That's one big thing. And maybe that's not a big thing for you, but when you have a wider foot or a bigger foot, that can make the difference. Now, another big key feature is this, which they don't disclose on the website or on any, you know, guitar place. That's a 10 inch footboard. Okay. Iron Cobra. Really, because the, the hinge is about right here, roughly. You're looking closer to more of an 11-inch footboard. Because I'm talking about, you could see the two little pins. That's where it's pivoting. You could see the pin. That's where it's pivoting. Now, my thing was is that, personally, this is all personal in my opinion. The fit and finish of this pedal, I liked a lot better, mostly because of that toe clamp. I liked that toe clamp a lot. I also like the fact that the beater is reversible. You can have the felt side or you can have the plastic side where the Tama isn't. So if you're like me and you're like, man, what do I do? I have a big foot. I like the fact that the Iron Cobra has the 11 inch, but I like the toe clamp of the DW. Well, this was my ultimate decision. I'll put those to the side. The DWXF. Why was this my ultimate decision? Well, now, if you look at it, you have basically an 11-inch footboard. So now this has pretty much the exact same playability as the Iron Cobra. But it has all the fit and finish I liked about the DW5000, you know, with the, the tri-pivoting toe clamps. 
The only thing I wish that this had was that drum key is really nice. I do like that drum key a lot. Um, I also wish there was a way to maybe change out so that if I wanted to try a strap drive, maybe I could try a strap drive. Now, this is in no way saying that the Iron Cobra is bad or saying the normal DW5000 bad. I'm just trying to give the average person out there who's maybe looking to upgrade or really needs to know, you know, why do, why do some people choose the Iron Cobra over the 5000? And for me, the 5000 with the XF, and in the future, I'm going to look at other DWs with the XF footboard because that one inch makes the world of a difference for me. I play a lot of heel toe. Obviously, it's a lot more comfortable. There's a lot more area. I hope this video has helped somebody. I hope it will help somebody. Even if it's just, you know, even if you know this information, great. If you don't, hopefully this helps you and make your decision. And maybe you won't have to, you know, purchase all three or borrow any of them. Or, you know, because a lot of times you can't just borrow something or even just, you know, have a friend who has one. So this is a very talkative video. I'm sorry, but I wanted to get the information. Comment down below if you want to know more. Like and subscribe if you want more videos. I'm going to try to be more consistent with my videos. Take care, guys. Have a good day.